so far on Balancing Bias. I'm, I'm on this new TV show called The Jack and Triumph Show. I'm going to be on it. Now, if, if I was racist, now, now, would I have done that? Now, 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 now. Put a ring on it, player. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm starting to get auditions quite often. Audition, which is a series regular on the new Netflix show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. But the thing is, my aunt is giving birth tomorrow. How about if I get the damn time, I want to stand like that here. It's not gonna be in here, freak. I just told you that. And he can kiss my motherfucking ass. Yeah, I liked it better like that. I just thought of the best idea. I'm gonna hit up some colleges that have an acting department and see if I can get that over to them. Maybe I can cast some actors out of a college. Property. Fonte, let them go! It's not gonna be coming on our property Fonte. messing up our stuff, you nah, hear me? man, I'm just passing by. Relax. Lee. I'm out Lee. Here. Lee. Lee. Fonte, no! Fonte! Oh. We do we doing, man? Come on, man! Get back in the house, man! Relax. It's relax. He's dead. He's dead. It's just two cast members. No, I'm looking for four. The I'm looking for some, you know, some talented actors. One female between the ages of, you know, 20 to 35, um, and three other guys between the ages of 18 to 25. And the pay is fifty dollars. Uh, fifty dollars for the shoot. Like a daytime shoot or a nighttime shoot or. Um, for the for the woman, it's going to be early morning shoot and then um for the other half is going to be throughout the main we're, we're pretty much going to be using the light so once the sun goes down it's the shoot is over it's big bro yeah. yo what up man yeah, ain't that much shit i'm trying to about to hit the gym got the vlog cam roll i'm trying to get swole like you man you like me yeah you Okay, so, cool. I just first opened. Part of, uh, uh, first part of your character stuff, you can get stuff. Well, kind of nice, nice. See, I just, I just saw the email. I'm actually gonna go to uh, Staples when I head to the gym and go print it out. Print that bad boy out. All right. Nice, man. Yeah. Y'all didn't, y'all didn't get a chance to fully read it yet. I just thought it, but yeah, man. Shit, good shit, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get a chance to check out the um the site for the uniforms? The what? Did you get a chance to check out the sites for the uniforms? No, I'm just leaving work. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I have to close everything down. Once I get home, I'll take it out. Um, uh, how much would they stop something? I don't know. I saw some of their some of, some of their shirts was looking like around between starting at twenty to thirty dollars or something like that. That's for the shirt. And then they got like they got the emblems that go with it, and uh, um, it's like a sew on patch. And those are like around like those are like around four dollars each or something like that. Man, sound like. Okay, cool. I'll hit you back up once after I check uh, read the script and, and hit the gym up. Okay. All right, man. All right, okay. all right, peace. That's the that's the big bro, man. That's the big bro. He taught me about the whole filmmaking and everything. He taught me about like, yo, I'll never forget what the day Marlon was like, Pat, man, if you wanna start filming, like you wanna be a filmmaker, man, pick up the camera and start filming your own stuff. Cut the expenses out. So that's what I did. And ever since Marlon gave me that advice on, yo, film your own stuff, pick up the camera and do your own thing. I just kept on doing it and just kept getting better and better, so. Yeah, Marlon, he's the big bro. He's the big brother from another mother who lives all the way in Oklahoma. So I trust him. I trust a lot of what he tells me because he always tells me the right thing. So I'm about to go to the gym right now and print out these sides for the script for Bad to the Jones. Just printed up the, the, the scenes up for Bad to the Jones and if he were black. So I'm about to go to the gym, work out real quick, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go study some lines and get my get my mind right and 
try to bring a lot to the, these characters, so it should be a little bit of fun. Right now, on a scale of one to ten, do not want to go in this fucking gym right now. Like, my mind is actually kind of beat. I'm so beat right now, but I know I'm going to be ahead if I go work out today, so might as well just go to the gym. Not even a partial even mood to even be here right now. I'm a customer, and I don't give a I don't f with ya. I fought it, and I made it. Come on, I'm telling you, I see you get so I'm coming for you, mate. I'm coming for you, Mr. Lie. I see you shining on your head, on your Facebook, and your Instagram. Look like you done did about a million some uh, pull ups. Got me feeling like I'm getting back, I'm going back, it was getting small. I'm coming for you, bruh. What I'm really excited about is that this is going to be the first actual film that I'm going to be directing this year. You know, I did some done some skits and everything like that, but you know, this is the actual first uh, short film that I'm about to you know start working on as a director. I'm really excited about it, you know? Thank you so much, man. Take it easy. Okay. I'm really excited about it, you know? I told myself I was going to work on a couple other projects, you know, step my game up a little bit, learn from a lot of my mistakes and over these past couple years, and then give it my all with, with, uh, with the new project. So, you know, like I... I have my views against the whole judicial system and as far as like how I feel people of color or are treated a certain way so there's nothing more than like expressing my thoughts and my feelings through my through my art this motherfucking girl why is the date just fucking took seven hundred dollars out of my account to pay her fucking car note like, motherfucker, I helped you out a long time ago, man. We've been fucking done, you idiot. You gonna take $700 on my account to go fucking pay your car note, you stupid? Fucking bird. So I'm calling the cops for your ass for fraud. Watch. Putting that shit in right now for fraud. You wanna fucking steal from me? Watch. I did not, I did not, I'm, I'm calling to file a claim right now. I'm sorry if I sound upset, it's not your fault, I'm just like pissed off. I'm sorry? Well, here's the thing, the money in my account, I would like that money to be in my account right away because I did not approve that at all. I, I, I think so. Or not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. That is fraud, dog. That's why I fucking called the cops. The cops on their way to my crib right now. Yeah. Cops on their way to the crib. And fucking, I called my bank. Yeah, it's about to be over for her, dog. Stupid ass. Fucking bird, dog. This fucking girl really just stole six hundred fifty-six dollars out of my account, dog. Pay her fucking her, her fucking car note.
Yeah, um, so this one girl, I did not, I haven't done, dealt with her in like, I haven't dealt with her in, I don't know, a long time. Okay. She, um, she stole money out of my account. I haven't spoken to her in months. I looked at my uh, account mm -hmm. and I saw $656 taken out of it. Okay. Yeah. How was it taken out of your account? Um, she uh, used it. Uh, I paid for her uh, car note about, I don't know, back in January or, <laughs> or sometime, maybe early February, something like that. Okay. We broke up in, I don't know, in early to mid February. Okay. And um, I haven't spoken to her since. And okay. she paid two payments out of my out of my car bill on uh, a car note. Okay. I have it right here. If you want to see the yeah, if you want to see it. So she owes you money. She, not that she owes me. She fraudulently used it. Used my my debit card. I mean my uh, checking account information. Okay. So how do we how do we know? My question is how do we know that it was her that took the money out? Because she's the only one that had my account information through that company. Okay, so there was a, a payment, like a bill pay type thing made to her car company? Made to her car company. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you right now. And this happened twice, you said? It's, her car payment is like 300 and something. Mm -hmm. So 656 came out. Okay. So that means it's two two months worth. Okay. Did you try, did you try contacting her? I don't know, I didn't want to speak to her. Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm, I wasn't even... Do you have her contact info? I have her contact information, but I don't. I, I, I don't know. I know where she lives. I have an address. I have an address. I have a cell phone number. Is it in Hamilton? So it's in Trenton. Okay. Like right across. Look. I live payment. Six hundred fifty-six sixty-five. Going out of your headquarters, selling and then buying one one one. When did you notice this? Today. Okay. And as soon as I found out, that's when I called. Did you try? Did you try calling your bank to cancel that payment? I called the bank. They said that the payment went through. Okay. So they can't stop it at all. They 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 said I have to call tomorrow. Okay. All right. What's her What's her contact info? Like what's her okay. name and phone number? I'll tell you right now. This and we'll go from there. I mean, I'll write a report up for it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna we'll press charges we'll against give you the it. case number. Well, you can you know. You can do that in court. All I do is the reporting that aspect of it. You would have to go to court and you would have to sign complaints against her. Okay. okay. Is that fraud, right? Yes. Te technically, she she went and she fraudulently went into your account and she took and took money out. Technically, it'd be a theft. She stole money from you. Right. At one point, she had access to your account. I'm assuming, and then you guys broke it off. Correct. Yes. Okay. Been done months. All right. Well, at one point, she did have access to it. So it's not like she it's not like she did like anything like identity theft because she knew she knows who you are. She at one point did have access to it. It's not saying she was allowed to have access to it now, but at one time she did. So technically she just went to where she used to have access and took money out. So it'd be a theft. She stole from you. Right. Essentially. Um, you know, that's that. But I wanna call her and I wanna get her side of the story and get you know, see what she says. See if she says, Yeah, I did it or you know, she might tell me on the phone, well, he told me I could. I haven't spoken to her. You can well, look at my call records. I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just telling you what what she might say. I don't know. Be, before we even get there, like I can show you my phone records, like that. Me and her had no conversation. No, if you want. I believe you. I'm not saying. I'm not okay. saying. I'm not saying you're lying to me. Okay. I'm just saying. When I call her, she might tell me tell me something completely off the wall different. I don't know. Right. But I just want to, you know, just that's just part of my job. I got to talk to you other hand. Okay. All right. Please watch some of our previous videos. Also, like, share, and subscribe.